God told his people when they commemorate the Passover, on the first day of the celebration that lasted seven days, they were to remove all the leaven or yeast from their houses. It was a common uh, item in Jewish homes. They needed it to make uh, bread as well as to make wine. But leaven also has the power to decay and destroy. And so leaven also came to symbolize uh, the, the, the potential for corruption. In, in Scripture, it came to symbolize sin. And that's why every trace of chametz uh, or leaven is removed from a Jewish house before the, the, the Passover can be celebrated. Uh, and in removing the leaven, uh, they're symbolizing from the beginning of the Seder, the beginning of the celebration of the Passover, an attitude of repentance uh, and willingness to remove uh, any corrupting influence in their life, any sin in their life, uh, and submit in obedience to God. It's interesting what the Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 11 when he's talking about the Lord's Supper. He says this, Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. A man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drinks of the cup. And so that heart examination is for us uh, the, the same as the examination uh, of the home in ancient Israel to make sure all the leaven, all the, the sin uh, has been removed. Uh, more importantly, a, a willingness uh, in your heart and my heart to get rid of uh, whatever is there and not to hold on to it. So we're going to take a, a minute now and search for the hidden sin uh, in our hearts that might prevent us from uh, really celebrating our version uh, of the Passover tonight. So let's ba just bow our heads, take a, a, a few moments, uh, confess our sins to God, and ask him to cleanse us as we prepare to come around the table. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Forgot to mention earlier, you're also gonna need uh, your guide that was provided to you by Rosie. Thank you, Rosie, in some form, I don't know where, email, Slack, but I hope you have it. If not, you're gonna need to pause the, the video right now so you can go get your guide. Uh, and once you have it, let's go ahead and begin and follow uh, in your guide. We praise you. O Lord, our God, who hallows our lives with commandments and who has commanded us to prepare for Passover by removing the leaven. Any, Any leaven of sin that may remain among us, which we have not seen and have not removed, scatter it as far as the east is from the west and remember it no more. May it be as if it does not exist, as if it is the dust of the earth. I'm going to stop the video again right now, and while the video is stopped, now's the time for the children to find that piece of bread that you have hidden. And kids, when you find that piece of bread, you have to carry it out of the house. So wherever you live, wherever you find it, you have to take that bread, carry it out of the house. Please don't forget to come back. You've got to come back in. Don't play in the yard. Definitely don't play in the street. I don't care what your parents say to you you can't play in the street. So come back into the house and when you come back, you have to shut the door. Because when you shut that door, you're demonstrating that you want sin to stay out and not to enter into your home. So we're gonna uh, stop the video, you find the bread, take the sin away, and then come back to the table.